No, you're not seeing anything. It is upside down. This is my lovely old FT847, which I've had from you. One of the first ones to be brought into the country. But it is, mm, I think, 18 or 19 years old. I can't remember. And as thus drifts a little off frequency and uh, today it's annual put back on frequency it'll still drift by about 10 20 hertz after it's done but we'll try and get it as close as possible and uh, get another year hopefully out of it on uh, VHF the actual adjustment is a tiny 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 screw on the bottom of the uh, 847 which you can see, you might be able to see here, just point to it with the screwdriver you can use the two filters, this is the underside of the radio there are two filters there and the optional filter there to bring you to where you need to be and it's very very delicate now I'm using a known source which is GB3 BUX and <coughs> that signal should be on one thousand hertz. I've put on USB and I've tuned down by a thousand. You can see it's actually on a thousand and sixty three hertz. So some inaccuracy there. It wasn't actually that bad. I've uh, already been fiddling with it. So I'll have another tune of it and see whether I can get it to ride at a thousand hertz. It's very very tricky and you need a very accurate source. So GB3 BUX is ideal for this job for me. I'll come back to it in just a moment. Okay, you can see there are tiny adjustments. I'm moving the, I'm moving this tiny screw by fractions of a degree, and uh, I find that a, a small flat blade screwdriver fits better. Although it looks like a Phillips screwdriver head, it's some sort of exotic style. Now that's within 1.5 hertz, according to. Uh, GB3 BUX, that really is about as accurate as I'm ever going to get it. But just as a final test, I'll go up to 2 meters, tune on to JT65B, and have a look at GB3 VHF, and uh, that should be at 15, 1500 hertz um, resting tone if I've got it to the right place. Obviously, the higher in frequency you go with this, the more the inaccuracy will show because it's multiplied by band. On four meters anyway, that's pretty good, pretty accurate. Uh, also, the radio has been on for a couple of hours to warm it up first because I do find that shack temperature or the temperature of the radio itself makes um, a difference of about 20 to 30 hertz. And on a hot summer's day, it could be 40 hertz. So, it being the winter, and I'm in a room with a radiator, it's about uh, oh, 20 degrees Celsius in here at the moment, and. Uh, the radio has been on for, as I say, a couple of hours just to warm it up. Right, let's try GB3 VHF. Okay, forgot to turn the antenna. Uh, now I've turned the antenna. Uh, GB3 VHF, you could see a 1500 Hz tone there, so that's pretty good. And uh, in the background, oh. uh, WSJT, you can see the beacon tone on the uh, first cycle coming in about 15 well it's a little bit off 15, oh, 1500 hertz yeah looks to be about right bit of drift obviously this might change when I put the lid back on up to the radio we'll see in a moment but uh, it's about as accurate as I'm going to get this thing that's uh, now gone over to JT65 so we may get a decode in a moment can't hear anything, but I can see the trace. It's a very weak signal state. Oh dear, um, uh, my cat lead has come undone. No, well, Ziggy, come off there. That's it, thank you. Uh, yeah, the cat well, likes to make adjustments. So let's see whether we can get a decode of uh, GB3 VHF, which is quite a long way away from here. Oh yeah, here we go. Minus 17 dB, 1270. So that's about as accurate as uh, I'll be able to get this radio.
but it should last for a year. I used to tend to do this about once a year, and uh, that way I can just allow the uh, computer to control it on them to make manual adjustments. So, if you want to adjust the frequency of an FT847 accuracy, it's uh, the little control just here on the bottom of the radio. My eyesight's not good enough to read the actual. Um, uh, name on it. There is a, uh, a mark on it, but if you if you use the the two filters as a, a guide, and it's just there, a flat head. Well, sorry, a, 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 some kind of Phillips screwdriver. Although I find a flat head one works better. Obviously, you should also not use a complete metal one like I've used. Okay, some time has passed. And as expected, the replacement of the metal case did make a uh, difference. It uh, caused the uh, frequency of the oscillator to drop, which gave an apparent increase in frequency of received signals. So I removed the case again and adjusted it this time so that it was 10 hertz below to allow for the case replacement. And I've left it for an hour and it's now currently reading about... 15.04 hertz um, the ideal would be 1500 hertz so it's 4 hertz off but at 2 meters for a radio that's virtually 2 decades old 4 hertz is not uh, not really a problem and it does mean that I can go back to using the cat control um, within w WSJ WSJTX <laughs> Uh, without having to manually adjust, which is a great thing. Because I love this radio, and um, I know one day it won't work anymore, but for the time being, we're good to go. Thanks for watching, I hope it helps you too. Bye.